I'm here in the entrance of the Zurich Innovation Center, where we start the journey into the world of food experiences. Now along the way, you'll see capabilities and services we offer as part of the Protein Hub, but you'll especially see the people working here. Now I want to start with Andrea Tullia. Andrea is our technical category manager here in the Protein Hub, and she's also somewhat known as being the technical wizard here. So, Andrea, What's the vision of the Protein Hub? We want to make innovation in plant-based happen at hyperspeed. The markets are moving incredibly fast and we want to make our customers move even faster. Imagine the Protein Hub has the one-stop solution that brings under one roof all the resources needed to accelerate the product development for our customers. Powerful technologies, a global network of experts and strong industry partners. We will put co-creation and holistic product design at the core of what we do and to enable our customers move their ideas um, from concept to industrialization in record time. And through our uh, network of partners, we can access additional knowledge uh, if that is needed to accelerate the product development, like from ingredient manufacturers, uh, equipment uh, producers, um, universities or startups. Which customers will benefit from this, Andrea? The companies that want to be at the forefront of innovation will benefit from this opportunity. Whether large enterprises, small or startups, they will all see a positive impact in their products or innovation speed when working with us. But now, before we go in the deep dive into the technologies, I'd like to hear more about the marketing role. And for this, let me introduce you to Thomas Ulram, our Innovation Director within the Savory segment. Thomas, how do you and your team inspire customers? So, especially our marketing plays an important role here. Scouting new trends, translating consumer insights and connecting all of that knowledge into inspiring ideas, promotions and tailor-made concepts. That's their daily business. They can choose out of a multitude of tools and information sources. For culinary inspiration, we have, for example, Chef's Council, a recurring event with panels of international top chefs, or artificial intelligence tools to analyze menus around the world, always searching for the latest ingredients and trends. So if we want to go beyond ingredients, we have tools such as Flavor Vision or Trend Track at our disposal, which provide deep insights into consumer minds and habits. How do you make sure this is relevant and right for your customer? Customers and consumers are at the very heart of everything we do. So every project, no matter if a thorough co-creation and innovation workshop or product development for a limited time offer, we pick and choose individually the information most relevant for the project at hand. We start with a kickoff to really fully understand the details and success factors before getting our hands dirty. Like that, we ensure an optimal level of individualization, all while increasing efficiency and success rate of the overall development. So Thomas, with having all this inspiration around you, share with us what food experience you would like to taste next. Well, as we are getting close to lunch, I think that I would love to enjoy a nice plate of ribs, plant-based ribs. What do you think of that? We're gonna see Crystal now. Uh, Crystal is our lead of the Consumer and Sensor Insights, and she'll be able to help us understand if this plant-based rib concept is actually a good idea. So let's see if she's here. Hey, Christelle. Hi, Lucas. What are you up to? I'm actually tasting fish analog. These products are the next generation of plant-based products. And we have put the red light to make sure we really concentrate on the description of the flavor. So we will be able to do a sensory mapping and then guide our technical team to develop the next generation of fish analog. So now I'm finished with the tasting, so we can put back the normal light. Perfect. Sounds interesting. Thanks, Christelle. So, you know, we want to do a plant-based rib and 
you would think that fits to our plant-based consumers? Actually, it's a great idea because the ribs can be developed in multiple directions. So as an example, we can have a rib with flavors of the world or restaurant style for the flavor craver or have maybe more traditional flavors for the value hunter. So it's definitely, definitely a great idea. So if I come up with some concepts, can you validate those for me? We can because we have this big online panel. So whenever you will have all of your concepts ready for this new vegan rib, just give them to me and then we will put them online. They will be validated by our consumer advisor and then we can actually select the best possible recipes to launch on the market. So this is a great idea. Well, that sounds great. Thanks so much. So let's go now to Simon and see if he can help us actually with the gold standard for this concept. Enjoy! Here we are now with Simon Coulthard. Chef Simon is one of our development chefs here in the Protein Hub. Chefs are at the beginning of everything we do around food experiences. So Simon, what have you been doing for us? Hey Lucas, uh, I've been preparing um, a gold standard recipe. It's the slow baked Korean ribs. Uh, this is an important step in the development of uh, plant-based products. So well, let's have a look. Wow, also, that's really, really comes through. Um, this is a, a really important step. I mean, you can see the ribs here. It's, the, the meat is super soft. There's a lot of been breaking down of the collagen and the fat and all of the juices. And it's really, really important to capture that essence and that, and that particular part in developing the plant-based products. We've developed these, um, these gold standard recipes that we're able to share with our technical teams, the, the flavorists, the food technologists, and all of that, so they can really understand you know, the matrix of the product that we're developing. Perfect, so we have a real rib as a golden standard. But Simon, you also have some experience with plant-based ribs. Yeah, that's correct, Lucas. Um, we've actually developed uh, and hope to be our world-famous um, plant-based rib. Uh, the inspiration came from Chef's Council in London, where we had um, experienced many, many inspirational dishes uh, from, from many different chefs from all over the world. Um, and we really wanted to challenge ourselves and, and bring the plant-based movement up to the next level. And yeah, we, just, we decided, to, let's see what we can do in creating a rib. So we got together with the technical teams and flavorists and uh, food technologists and put all of our minds together and we came up with an amazing version of a plant-based rib. That sounds fantastic. Thanks so much, Simon. I'll come back to you if I have some more questions around ribs for sure. Great, But thanks, for Lucas. now, let's head up straight to Olivia and see how she can help us from a flavorist perspective. And here she is, Olivia. Olivia is one of our flavorists taking care of the perfect taste. So Olivia, Simon just produced a gold standard short rib for us and it was a delight to recreate this in a plant-based way. What do you need to know to help create this perfect and tasty food experience? Well, actually I, know, I need to know your gold standard, where you want to go, like the ribs with Simon. And then I go back to the start. So what actually do we start with? What kind of protein do we take? What kind of ingredient do we use? And I need to understand your recipe, but also your process. What kind of texture and all of that. Once I know all of that, then we can work together into creating the best flavor to bring your product into something very authentic. That sounds super interesting, but how do you do that? So, as I explained, I need to go back to the start. You need to know that plant-based protein are coming with a specific note, specific off notes. Whatever protein you're using, they're bringing this off note which doesn't fit in an authentic meat-based product. So I will first need to understand what, uh, what is that off note, where it's coming from, to be able to work on it and then create this profile from the masking to something very delicious, authentic, juicy, fatty, roasted, depending on what you want, meaty, culinary. And then I will start with this masking and then create step by step this flavor to bring to your product the authenticity that you want and the signature that you need. And with whom are you working uh, together to uh, achieve this best outcome? So I work with some chefs like Simon to create these gold standards, but I also work with the specialist in texture, food technologist. And then these people, they can really help you to understand your recipe and help you to develop your product to be able to use the best recipe, the best texture to flavor it in the right way. 
So I work with these colleagues that are very important. But also, if you have some specific requirements, such as religious, kosher, halal, or if you want some functional ingredients or some colors, or any kind of these specific tools that you need, I would need to go and work with the specialists that we also have in-house to help you into your product development. Lydia, for our plant-based trip, we're looking at wet extrusion and we luckily just got a brand new tool here. Can you tell us a little bit more? Yes, Lucas, of course. So back here you can see our brand new extruder. And with that extruder we can do actually wet extrusion and dry extrusion. And for our, for our beef rib, we would, we would use wet extrusion to create this nice texture that we know when we buy it in a real beef rib. All right, can you just tell me in three sentences, how does it work? Yes, basically it's just the combination of the three forces, pressure, shear and high temperature. So basically what we're doing, you put in your protein powder, you put in some water and some oil, you mix it with high shear, high temperature and the protein is melting down. And this dough is, is aligning and the proteins build this texture that you know for chicken pieces or for beef pieces. And with that we are creating the plant-based beef rib. And why here? What's the advantage of having this in the protein hub? Basically here in the protein hub everyone is together. We have food technologists, scientists and regional innovation is working very closely with our global s and science and technology team here. So we can drive the innovation very fast with going back to our science who is bringing in the deeper knowledge to bring you further in your projects. So we just saw what we can do with our extruder. But Sarah, here in the pilot plant, we have many more options. Can you tell us a bit more what we can do here? Hey, Lucas, glad to have you here. I hope you're not too cold. So welcome to our cold room. You know what I find very exciting in this pilot is that I truly feel that I have my own mini factory to play with. So that's fantastic. We can pretty much upscale anything we do in the lab. So for instance, if we talk about vegan nuggets, when we're in the lab, we use a Thermomix and we use a Stefan mixer. And here we have a whole range of bolt choppers where we can make like bigger and bigger mulchen. We have a giant hobbard and then we have a line for coating, breading, and finally inline fryer. So that's really fantastic. Then if you're more into sausages, so we have a stuffing machine and a casing machine, and we can also have a very, very nice finish to those sausages by using our maturing and smoking chamber. Then I have another example that comes to mind and this is about the chilled and ambient analog which is really something that we're exploring now. Here, thanks to our autoclave and our cunning machine, we can also really explore in this direction. So, be it meat analog, cheese, fish or even egg, you name it, we can upscale everything. And oh, I forgot to mention something. Of course, we always keep an eye on the latest technologies. So whatever comes our way, rest assured that we're on it. Fantastic. So I'm sure we have everything to do our rips now. Let's get to work then. All right. I'm just coming out of the pilot plant with the first production of the fresh juicy ribs. I'm now heading to the kitchen to see if I find someone to try them with me. I'm happy to be here with Geraldine and Edu now. I hope you're excited to taste our plant-based juicy ribs together. Geraldine is the lead of sustainability and Edu is leading our regulatory team. Geraldine, I want to start with you. How do you see the Protein Hub in terms of the Givendant purpose? Hi, Lucas. Um, Givendant's purpose is creating for happier, healthier lives with love for nature. Let's imagine together. And what's really exciting about the Protein Hub is that it brings actually all of those elements together. Um, it's well recognized that um, we all need to be eating more plant-based diets for a healthier future for both people and uh, planet. 
And this is a big contribution that Jivadon can make to food system transformation, um, a big movement that is underway, um, and really live our purpose uh, in doing that. So I feel it's a super exciting uh, demonstration of actually our purpose in action. Thank you, Geraldine. And Edu, how does winning with regulatory help in the co-creation and product development within the Protein Hub? Hi, Lucas. The Winning with Regulatory is an initiative that we have where we put our 50 regulatory experts monitoring from the development and starting of new regulations until the before the implementation of them. Our teams work also during the co-creation to ensure that the package has the right information and full transparency of our products. Because our, our main objective is to ensure that the consumers are safe, well-informed, and satisfied for their preference from flexitarian to vegan. Thanks a lot to the both of you. I now wish you bon appétit in tasting the plant-based juicy ribs and I hope to see you soon. Thank, Thank you. you. I, in the meanwhile, made it to Elisabetta Lubian, our global technical leader for the plant protein category. Elisabetta, we just had the chance to have a run-through of the Protein Hub following a product from ideation to industrialization. The Hub is part of a global network and closely linked to science and technology. Can you tell us more about this integration at the Zurich site? Thank you, Lucas, yes. The Protein Hub is connected to a global network of fundamental research scientists located at our sites in the US, Netherlands, France and Singapore. Within this network, Givaudan is developing knowledge in many key areas, leading to new technologies for the next generation of our customers' products. Here we have the ability to go from benchtop to different pilot scales in wet extrusion. Some of our focus areas include masking, flavor development, functional ingredients such as natural colors and preservatives, and delivery systems designed for plant proteins. Through our in-depth analytical capabilities, we identify key drivers of authenticity in animal-based products and translate them to the creation process to deliver a complete food experience. Technologies developed within this network are then rapidly deployed to our regional teams via the network, allowing our customers to be at the forefront of alternative protein innovation. Let me give you some examples of recent success stories. Those include our newly developed maskers for pea proteins application and the patent pending technology that encapsulates flavor and vegetable fat in one to allow for a more authentic eating and visual experience with up to 75% fat reduction. Thank you and I'm looking forward to meeting and welcoming many of you soon here.